Hey everyone, welcome to another mini med lessons video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to place skin staples to close a laceration. So first of all though, please hit subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notifications every time I post a new video. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the support. Now, first of all, before I actually perform this, I wanna show you, there's different types of staplers. This one here is one of the smaller, cheaper versions that are pretty common uh, to find in urgent cares and emergency rooms. Um, it's it's a bit smaller, notice it's just a small little handheld thing, and you, you push down here in order to have the staples come out the end here. This one does require that you're angled a bit like this, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. But there's other versions that are much larger, like this one. This one I actually prefer a lot better because you can hold it in your hand like this, and uh, you squeeze the handle, and notice then the staples come out here at the tip, okay? And so this one you push the skin together and just clamp and staple like you might use a staple gun if you're doing construction uh, or craft work or things like that. So um, these are the two different types. I'm gonna demonstrate with both of these today. My preference, honestly, is the larger stapler because I feel like I have better control over it and I, I like the way that it leaves staples in the skin. And you'll you'll probably see why as I as I demonstrate here. So before I go ahead and demonstrate how you place the sutures in the laceration, um, I wanna talk a little bit about why you might choose to use a stapler instead of suturing. Now in most of my other videos, I'm demonstrating suturing technique, and so why would you choose stapling over suturing or vice versa? And you know, there are many advantages and disadvantages to both, and one of the main advantages to a stapler is it's much faster, it's it's a little easier, it doesn't require as much skill, and, and you it's a little harder to mess up, really. Um, the, the staples and sutures generally stay in for the same amount of time. They both have to be removed unless you've used dissolvable sutures, like with a subcuticular technique. Um, but really, I think the biggest advantage and the reason many clinicians like to use a stapler is because it, it's, it's fast. Um, and it's pretty simple. And so some things that you need to remember though with a stapler is that it is going to cause more of a scar. So if there's any cosmetic reason that you want to minimize the scar formation of the laceration as it heals, staples are probably not your best bet. So it wouldn't be wise to use staples on a part of the body that are overly visible, um, like, like on the face or the neck or the hands or the arms. Okay, the, the stapler is not gonna be the best option there. Sutures would be preferred because the scarring is going to be less, okay? Um, but uh, th those are the biggest talking points when it comes to stapling versus suturing. Uh, stapling is very, very common in uh, some uh, operating rooms. Um, in neurosurgery, we would occasionally use a stapler to close up a large spinal surgery along the lumbar spine. Um, and then it's pretty common to use a stapler on the scalp as well for scalp lacerations or surgical incisions on the scalp. So those are a few uses and there's other uses as well. Now before you go ahead and place the sutures, you want to do, excuse me, the staples, you want to make sure you've done all of the same wound cleansing and preparation that you would do if you were suturing it. So irrigation, make sure there's adequate hemostasis, that you've explored the wound to make sure there's no foreign bodies retained, and everything that you would normally do before you would suture. Okay, and then you go ahead and place the staples and then do the same aftercare like you would do with sutures, maybe a little bit of bacitracin ointment or some Vaseline uh, petroleum jelly with a, with a nice sterile bandage over the top. So let me go ahead and demonstrate for you now. So first of all, uh, with, the, with the small stapler, I wanna point out here, notice that it kind of comes right out the front. If you, if you look closely here, you can see the staple right there in the middle and if I were to push down here with my thumb, I slide that staple out to the end and you can see that the, the tips of this, the staple start to come out the end. And so you're, you're gonna see that I'm gonna have to maybe have this completely flush with the patient's skin and give some decently firm pressure as I push down to then uh, have that needle, excuse me, the, the staple bent into place um, where it should be. So the, the angle here for the camera is a little difficult, so here in a minute I'm gonna spin you around so that you can see from the, the other angle. But 
with the let's let's say this is our laceration here and I want to close this one oftentimes especially if it's gaping a little bit you want to start in the middle to take some of the pressure off so you're going to cause uh, with your fingers to uh, cause the skin edges to approximate and I like to make sure that I'm causing a little bit of pressure out here outside of the the skin edges so that there's more of an eversion at the skin edges if I'm too close to the skin edges it, it might not cause that little bit of an eversion like we like to see so and then I'm going to place that firm on the skin and then go ahead and place that suture by pushing firmly uh, the staple by pressing firmly and as you can see it has caused the skin edges to be more approximated in that spot okay I'll spin you around here in a minute and demonstrate with the other angle so you can see but the idea is pretty much the same here with the larger stapler it's just my angle is going to be flat against the skin this way. And so th this is the same stapler we used a lot in the operating room and I've used the same one in urgent care settings. So I like again, again like I said, I like this one because it's a little larger and so I feel like I can get a better grip on it. But I'm going to uh, again cause the skin edges to be uh, pretty well approximated and then cause some firmness, uh, firm pressure as I push down and place the staple. Okay, so you want to make sure both of these have, uh, you know, you can see where the midline is on both of these staplers and you want to make sure your midline of the stapler is right over the middle of the, the laceration so that it's pretty well centered over and you can see my second one there, I, I've got it a little bit to the right. So you want to be careful not to be off too far on one side. But let me spin you around now so you can see from a better angle and I'll uh, continue to demonstrate and, and explain a couple things. All right, so maybe a little better angle here, um, looking from that side. So as you can see, I'm back to the small stapler here. And again, if you take a look here at the end, you can see that there's all there's a staple visible. And as I push this down, I can see the edges of that staple start to uh, appear at the edge of the stapler. And so not only can I, again, use my fingers to approximate the skin edges a little bit better, and then as I place this directly over the middle of the the laceration right at the skin edges and then cause a little bit of firm pressure as I push and place that staple. It works quite well. Another thing that you can consider, again I'm going to bring the staple out there to the edge. Okay. Another thing that you can do is use one side. Notice I can kind of grab on one side here and then reach and pull over and across to help approximate those skin edges. I think it's preferable, in my personal opinion, to approximate with the skin edges as you do this and just place straight down. But another way to do it is to kind of grab one side, pull across, and then pinch flat as you then place that, that staple. So there's a couple of different uh, techniques or ways to do that. I'm gonna go back to the larger stapler and finish this side out and you can see my angle there. I wanna line up that, this one has that nice little arrow to be right in the middle. And so it's pretty well approximated. Notice if I don't even use my fingers on this one, it's probably going to pull the skin edges close together quite well. So if, it, if it's pretty closely approximated, you don't even need to use your fingers. If it's gaping like it is over here, it's better to bring some skin edges together um, so that it's a, 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 a little closer to help the stapler out. Okay, can you see why I like the, the larger one? It, it can move a little quicker. So then again, approximate these. I'm going to just finish off this this laceration using the stapler. So as you can see the, the stapler is much faster than suturing and if you take a look at these these staples it's approximated the skin edges pretty well. If you take a look right here we don't have any uh, significant inversion of the skin edges. If anything it puckers it out a little bit and does a pretty good job closing this. And so you can see the, the staples from the larger stapler are a little bit wider than the ones that were placed with the smaller stapler, but not by much. So they're both they're both great and, and, and do a good job. So I'm going to do another video where I demonstrate how you remove staples then uh, using a simple little staple remover. Um, so be sure to check out that video. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention before I finish this one up though, is that sometimes in the operating room you might have somebody to assist you whether it's another clinician or a scrub tech uh, whoever it might be and if that's the case you can actually have somebody working along the skin edges kind of inverting for you with two different pickups um, as you place staples and that moves it along even faster really helping to make sure you get good skin edge 
eversion rather than having those skin edges turn in on themselves. So that wraps up this video about placing sutures, uh, closing lat skin lacerations with staples. Uh, excuse me, I think I've said sutures multiple times, but you know what I mean, staples. Um, again, please hit subscribe, hit like, follow along, and see my next video on how to remove these staples now. Thanks.